Hello and welcome back to ETS2. So at the end of the last episode, we had a quick look for potential trailers. Now we've got really a choice of up to six. Um, and I think I'm going to borrow a little bit more money and go for a curtain cider. So we'll go to the bank. We'll borrow another 50,000, which is absolutely fine. <clears throat> and purchase a trailer for ourselves. Just a standard curtain cider. Hmm. I don't want to store the trailer, I want to use the trailer. What configurations? I think it's all basics at the minute, yeah. Though if we can get the same livery as our unit, no not really. We'll just have to stick with white. There's not really many customizations I, I actually want to do to this. Maybe the spare wheel on the back. Yep, so that's pretty much it. Forty-five thousand pounds. It, but I'm gonna have to store it up there, which means yes, I will store it in my garage, and then we're actually gonna go on quick travel to pick up our trailer. So, so where is our trailer? I want it. Thinking about it, it will be in Trailer Manager. Views. Yes. Okay, trailer's been attached. And I'm going to have a look how much it would be to upgrade our garage because eventually I would like to. 180,000. So I would like to start getting this uh, upgraded and start earning a bit of extra money. So now we've got our trailer, we'll have a look at the external market. And we will do a job of our own stuff, with our own trailer. So we're going from Clypeda, that's a long one. I'm actually tempted to fast travel back to the Balkans. Unable to find jobs. <laughs> what about the cargo market? That looks like a good one. We could actually take a job going up north to uh, Estonia and start travelling north a bit. Hmm. Decisions, decisions. I'll find us a load and I will come back to us. Uh, come back to you in a minute. Okay. So, I've actually decided that we can get a job going to Bialystok in Poland from Klaipeda 
So, and it's taking motor oil. Oh no, it's not. I don't. I don't apologise. It's um, big bags of seed. So we need to go and pick up our load. Which shouldn't be too far away. No, it's not. It's literally around the corner. It's a shame, really. There's no... Uh, Christmas deliveries we can do with our own trailer but we can always do one or two of them next time Here, GNT. And it was... Was it external market? No, it wasn't. <clears throat> it was cargo market. Yep, that one. So where are we picking up from? Why did I uncouple the trailer? I don't know why I did that. So, engine off. And get loaded up. Okay, so this job is not a massive one, 386 kilometers, but we will need to rest. Uh, we've got plenty of time to actually get the job done. Why did I press all sorts of buttons today? All right, we'll get rid of that. We'll get on our way and we'll find somewhere to rest fairly soon. So I will time lapse up until our rest point and I will see you in a few minutes.
Okay, so we've just been diverted away from our route, but fortunately this looks like quite a small diversion, really, in the whole grand scheme of uh, ETS. Normally they a lot longer, has <laughs> hundreds of kilometres on. So I was actually hoping that we might get away with not having to rest, but now with this little addition, we might actually have to pretty close to the destination. But we shall wait and see. I'm hoping we can get on the motorway the other side. Excuse me, if we can't then we're a bit we're a bit stuck for choice really. There you go, that's me driver yawning. I oh, know I need to stay in this lane. So I do need to find a rest stop fairly soon. And we will, it's not gonna be an issue. left here and then this should put us on the motorway we wanted to be, or the road we wanted to be on anyway yep yeah. right so back up to speed and I will uh, try and find us a place to stop Okay, so we're actually coming up to a place where we can rest for the night on the left hand side here hopefully I can actually get in I'm sure I will we definitely need it though, yeah 450 meters on the left really? oh, I forgot to turn my headlights on there we go anyway Seem to do that quite regular. I believe the parking spaces are behind this building. Yeah. Well, we're cutting it close. It's actually uh, telling us we're just going to stop like that. Safe. There you go. So we are resting till five o'clock in the morning and it's nice and nice and light. Headlights are on. Right, we'll get this delivery finished. We have let's see just quickly how much we've got left to do. 176 kilometers. And we do need to also find a place to service our wagon. But as we got there to the finish point, uh, to that rest point there, we're nearly at a thousand miles now. Right, so I will get this delivery finished and I will see you when we are in Bialystok, Poland.
Okay, we are getting pretty close now to Bialystok. As you can see, it's just appearing on the map. So we must only have a few kilometers left to go. Yep, we can actually see the destination up ahead. So, sticking to the 70 limit. Tell you what, we actually need this lane anyway. And we've got to drop to 50. Ah, and there's a place we can actually go and service the unit as well after we've dropped off. And then we'll find one more fairly short journey if we can. So that's Bialystok discovered. Leap. Mm. So we are turning left at these lights. He just got in the way. <laughs> oh, dear me. Okay. Yeah. We are going. Now, I don't know if I want to start heading <coughs> west. Or if we want to start going back south towards the West Balkans. We've explored quite a lot of the Balkans and I think I should probably explore some more of Europe. So I think that's probably what I will do is start trying to head more west. So we are delivering in here. Next to this TNT trailer. Okay, so that is the first delivery of the day. And I think that's actually got us to level 11, yeah. So, probably add another one to the distance. So before we try and find a job, we will, like I said, go and get serviced. Which is just around the corner anyway. Full damage report. Repair all. Confirm. Okay, so that is. I wonder if there's actually anything we can upgrade yet. have a look. Still can't get a tag axle. <laughs> Engine, that's as good as it gets. 
gearbox. Hmm. What does this do? Normal cargo, not good for heavier cargo. Kind of just gonna have to stick with the gearbox we've got. Fair enough. Right, so let's find us some more work. Let's just check the external market first. Estonia, Denmark, Linz. Well, I guess we'll take this one to uh, Lublin, which is uh, dry milk, 18,000 kilograms. 18.6 thousand kilograms. So we'll take that. And we'll just keep heading south for now. Eventually we'll be able to go west. Okay, so how far is it to go and pick up? 12 kilometers. Cool. Renault, Renault, Scania. Okay, so it's literally just up the road here, actually, the uh, pickup point. So that should be nice and straightforward. Try not to speed, trying to be a good boy. <clears throat> Hopefully, it doesn't take too long to get loaded up in Unilever by the looks of it. Speed cameras. The enemy. Yep, yeah, so we're turning into Unilever to pick up some dry milk. to upgrade pro mods again and uh, get that all working I really do like pro mods a funny looking place for a Unilever Okay, time to get loaded with dry milk. So, engine on. And this journey is 241 kilometers. So, we should be done with that fairly quick. So, let's get on with it. I will see you in a few minutes.
Okay, so I've just seen a sign for lovely 96 kilometers. It's quite a rural journey. Um, and not gonna lie, not the most interesting of journeys either. We've not seen much. I mean, there was a bit of a bridge further back, combine working in a field. But it's been a, a bit of a, a windy road. A bit slow speed limits as well. <coughs> but we should be fairly close. We are 84 kilometers away. So I will get this done and I'll be back with you when we're dropping off in Lublin. Okay, so we are entering Lublin in about five seconds. Get that speed off. Okay. We'll be turning right very shortly and dropping this delivery off. Yep, at these traffic lights. So we have been to Lublin before, it's just uh, we must have come in from a different direction maybe? Oh no, it was when we had pro mods so the roads aren't showing that we've actually seen them. Right, so we're dropping off in here. Hopefully I can spin it round, should be able to. See if I can do it with the mirror. Excellent. Okay, so we're dropping off the dry milk in Lublin so that is another job complete using our own equipment so that is all I've got time for today if you enjoyed today's episode please like comment subscribe and I'll see you next time for more ETS 2 which will be Christmas Eve I believe so we'll make a nice Christmassy episode so I'll see you next time goodbye <laughs>